I am an artist who has never been um, satisfied and comfortable merely um, either being just uh, two-dimensional or three-dimensional. And I think part of this is that I was trained in all my early arts education and my um, focus was as a conceptual artist. So I think in many ways that is kind of the, the backbone and the basis of my, my thinking and the way I approach art. I'm an artist that's interested in the realm of domesticness in terms of my work to the point that I named my initial little furniture company uh, in the late 1980s, Domestic Furniture Company, even to where I hold the trademark for in the United States for the word domestic and furniture. My, one of my great art pieces that nobody really knows about, but I was talking a moment ago about um, these kind of philosophical issues of naming and meaning and use and meaning. And I think the domestic thing is, is a much more personal side of it. And it's really the thing that I find poetically and personally engaging and interesting and that sort of pulls me in and is the personal well that I um, go to. And I think that it's essentially about issues of home and creating a home or building a home or not having a home or what is a home. And, you know, it's mostly for, you know, my own personal journey with home issues, trying to understand what it means, you know, what it is to create a home. And I think there's, you know, complicated psychological issues of my upbringing and my childhood and I think being gay and all these kind of things that played strongly into that issue. <laughs> When I had uh, my uh, mid-career survey at the Henry a few years ago, I was invited to consider doing some site-specific um, sculptures as part of the show, which was really great. And a, a big part of that show for me, which had been organized and in, in initially shown at, uh, in MOCA in Los Angeles, when it came up here, and it was a very different space, and I was offered both the um, the North or the South galleries to do it in, and I immediately chose the North because I think they're really lovely spaces, and also because it was a very a strong counterpoint to the way the show had been when it was in Los Angeles, so it seemed really exciting and fun to reconceive the show in that building. But the one um, spot that was a, a kind of challenging and a problem for me was the the rotunda that had been the uh, um, original entryway to the original building. So we did a variety of things within the space, but probably the most significant one was to um, get rid of the signage and other things that were put in those niches and do the, the set of sculptures that were in there, which I entitled Muses and Niches. Actually, I think the original title of that was uh, Five Muses and Niches, even though there's four things, but at some point in this whole title thing, the name kind of changed to something else. The name of the, uh, my mid-career survey that was at the Henry a few years ago was uh, Adornment as Adornment, which is a pretty cute play on words that seemed appropriate that I like. The, uh, the original title of it, working title for a long time that I was sort of talked out of mostly by Michael Darling, the curator, was um, storage, but um, which is a different sort of a joke. And I think it's because I think of myself in many ways as a conceptual artist. And I think that obviously language and words are one of the significant domains of conceptual artists to work with. And so I think that when you call something a, a a table or a sculpture, it changes it. I think that that words are fascinating because I think words are functional virtual objects or functional real objects that they, um, you know, in the same way that they are just these abstract shapes that then you, you start doing things with and they just, they do a lot for us. And I think, you know, that overlap of language and words 
and the functionality of words into the functionality of um, the transformation of a sculpture to a functional thing is of um, uh, really, you know, a, a enormous interest. For me, one of the great defining uh, emotions of uh, um, life is really loss, and I think there's, a, there's kind of a cultural loss as we um, keep redefining the built world around us. I'm Roy McMakin, and you, uh, I am, and you all are, in my uh, home studio in Madrona in Seattle, where I'm at the, um, my kitchen island slash work spot. <laughs>